Lucane was quite worried about your safety and flashes a relieved smile when he sees you return. You give him the two black runestones you found. Nobody should be able to enter the illusionary lands now. You tell Lucane that you didn't find the dragon's crown and what the spirit told you about the ancient dragon. There are many legends about the ancient dragon, but no one knows any specifics. Lucane suggests seeking a specialist. Lucane has an old friend who once researched the ancient dragons. He currently lives as a hermit in the Lost Woods. They had a falling out long ago, and they are not on good terms. It seems you'll have to see him in Lucane's stead. He owes a debt to the late king. He is hard-headed, but he honors his debts. Lucane writes a letter to the castle. First, you must go to the castle and ask King Dean to write an official letter asking for the hermit's cooperation. Oh, how can I help you? You must ask King Dean to write a formal letter asking the hermit to cooperate with your mission. You request an audience with King Dean. However, an anxious-looking Princess Vivian appears instead. Upon inheriting the throne, Dean left the castle with some subordinates. You brush it aside, reasoning that Dean must have some sort of plan. You assage the princess's worries. She asks why you're here, and you tell her you need a letter to take to the hermit. She drafts a royal request for you. Vivian gives you a letter asking for the hermit's aid. You must go into the lost woods and learn about the ancient dragon. Sealed. You should ask Samuel what happened. The Adventurer's Guild has forbidden the use of the gate, and the ruins are sealed. You should ask Samuel what happened. You ask the Guildmaster why the magic gate on the outskirts of town has been sealed off. Samuel says the gate had become unstable, and it was impossible to know where you'd end up, so he had it sealed. Perhaps the gate's appearance was a side effect of Mornian's gate rune usage. It may be tied to the crumbled rune stone. But you have no choice. You tell Samuel that you'll accept the risk and coerce him into allowing you to use the gate. Samuel relents, but also suggests going to the stable and renting a horse as an alternative. 
You can travel by horse or magic. However, the gate will now drop you at a random location, unlike before. Hmm, you're back. You venture into the Lost Woods to ask the Hermit about the ancient dragon. The Lost Woods are so vast and similar looking that you quickly lose track of where you are. <clears throat> it is said that only the hermit who lives here actually knows the way out of this forest. Sensing a presence, you turn around. You see a man standing upon a rock. He immediately shouts, I don't want trouble! When you hand him the letter and explain your purpose, he grins confidently. He says the ancient dragon can't be revived. The ancient dragon sleeps in the illusionary lands as a fossil. It's impossible to go there, much less awaken the dragon. He tosses you several tomes and tells you to read them if you want to learn. Then he points to the path exiting the forest. You take a boat across the underground lake as the hermit advised. This seems like the safest way to leave the lost woods. If your boat is caught by a whirlpool, it will be destroyed. Avoid the whirlpools at all costs. Please. 
they're here. <laughs> A gazer's main eye can nullify your magic effects. Beware! Oh! <laughs> 
you were able to defeat the extra-dimensional magical being known as a gazer. It dawns upon you that this is no safe route. In fact, this is likely the most dangerous route. You brought back the tomes on the ancient dragon that the hermit threw your way. The books you borrowed from the hermit are packed with research about the ancient dragon. Have Lucane look at them. 